On, the, on this tutorial, we'll continue to work on our first Java program. We will have our following objectives. We're going to debug a Java program, show some errors and how to work on it. Show the use of system.outprint instead of the println. Insert the backslash t and the backslash n characters and make use of the concatenation plus operator. Let us again launch our Eclipse. Accept the workspace. As you will notice, this is the first program that we have created earlier on our previous tutorial. You would uh, notice that As you type the command, Eclipse is already predicting what command you're going to type. This predictive ability of Eclipse saves you time. So instead of typing the whole word, you just press spacebar and Eclipse will supply the rest of the command. Red underline indicates that there is an error on our command. Let us say that you insist on running this one, even there is an error. We save it, we run. You will be prompted by Eclipse that there are errors or error uh, indicated on your program. But still you may proceed to see what would be the effect. So on our platform runtime area, you would see the error messages that we that are generated. So in this case, uh, the error occurred at line 7. So this would be line 7. But the thing is, you don't know where line 7 is. So the good practice is we indicate or we include line numbers as we are working on our programs. So to do that, we click on Window, Preferences, General, Collapse Editors, Click Editors, Click show line numbers so you would see on our text editor area a line number is already indicated so on this case we are missing a terminator symbol which is the semicolon so we use that and the error appear disappeared let us again save and run again the program. So we have our program corrected. Now suppose we have an output in our program that requires like this. How do you work out with the use of system.outprint command? Now let us create another program name hello again. So we click my first Java, collapse this one, collapse SRC, select Java package. And then we click File, New, Class. So the title of our second program would be Hello Again. Click Finish. You would notice that a second tab is inserted after the hello.java. So this would be our second program. Okay, we adjust the uh, opening brace to align it with the closing brace down. 
we insert again the public static void This time we make use of the new line boxless n and the and the boxless t characters. Let us insert our comment. We use the double uh, double forward slash to insert a comment with our program. It is a good practice to place a comment once in a while. To our program so the reader or even us may be guided on what we want to achieve on this part let's continue inserting the rest of the program you could also place a comment after a valid java command on this case we insert the comment this is neat. Let's make this wider. Let us save our program. Run. So this would be our output. Now let us discuss. The backslash T denotes tab character. This means a tab space will be placed in between before printing the next set of strings or text. On this case, it would be language. The backslash N is a new line character that tells the compiler to proceed to the next line. You may have noticed that we use system.out.print instead of system.out.println after printing the hello world line. This produces the same effect since we have the boxless and within the text. Now, here's an extra challenge. How do you display the output with the use of one system.out.println only in the program? So, same output, but only one system.out.println. Okay, let's revise our program. This this one. Let us save our program again and run. Okay, so we forgot one box last end here. Saved again and we run. Let us discuss. Instead of use issuing another system that out print ln we concatenated or joined the text with the plus operator. 
you could type the whole system that out print ln statement in one line but it will make our codes longer the compiler ignores white spaces so there is no problem if we move the concatenated text to the next line this kind of coding pra practice increases also the readability of program hi this is Jerry thank you for watching this video if you'd like to see the script or codes of this tutorial please click the link below do visit us on our Facebook and Twitter account. Don't forget to hit the like buttons.